It wasn't too long ago that bush Alaska or rural Alaska was isolated from the major communities such as Anchorage, Fairbanks, and Juneau. Transportation was by dog sled, by boat, and later on airplane. Then in 1977, along came RATNAT, Rural Alaska Television Network. The, uh, the programming first is collected from the local Anchorage stations. Uh, we have six stations we collect programming from. And we collect it either uh, on tape or it's fed directly live. We have 248 villages that are connected. Each village is on a separate um, channel. They have Technician Cheryl Bailey runs through two to three hundred programs each week looking for technical defects. Programs chosen by the RATNET Council. Excuse me, Deborah here, it does sound like somebody just joined us for today's RATNET Council meeting. Would that party please identify themselves? Jeff Dwarf, can you look, please? The RATNAT Programming Council consists of 17 members. They're meeting today to decide on programming for villages, 248 villages across the state. By the way, RATNAT programming goes on 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. For Northern Lives, I'm Jeannie Green.